Hey kids, ready? I'm ready. Ready to learn with you today and have some fun along the way because you're awesome and amazing. There isn't anyone in the whole wide world who can do what you can do. So are you ready? Ready to learn with me today and have some fun along the way. Ready, set, go! I'm so glad to be with you today. Do you know what? I had a friend who asked me if he could learn about a little tiny creature. Do you see lots of little bugs and creatures flying around and crawling around? Well, Briggs wanted to learn about a bug. So we're going to talk about the letter that this bug starts with or the family that this bug is in. All right. So first of all, we're going to see if you can guess what this letter is. Hmm. Does it look kind of familiar? It is backwards. So it, that makes it a little tricky, doesn't it? Let's see if we can figure out what its sound is. This letter has two sounds. So that's going to make it kind of tricky. Okay, we've got an ape, acorn, ABCs. Hmm, ape, acorn, ABCs. It sound is A, A, A. Ooh, that probably gives you a really big hint. Let's try its other sound. Ant, alligator, apple. Hmm, a, a, a. Ant, alligator apple do you know what it is i'll bet you have a super good guess but before we can guess we've got to sing our abc song are you ready a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Backwards. Ready? Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Now I know my Z, Y, X's. It is time for your guesses. Do you know what it is? Oh, letter A, you're right. Let's look right over here. Where is the letter A? It's the first one. You are exactly right. And do you know what? Let's put it on our riding road. Should we take letter A and put it right here on our riding road? And then let's look at lowercase a. Do you remember what lowercase a looks like? There's lowercase a, capital A and lowercase a. And you know what? We need to write some of those on our paper, don't we? So let's get a marker. You can get whichever marker you would like to get. I'm going to take a blue one today and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put the lid on the back so it doesn't roll away. Sometimes my lids roll away. Do your lids ever roll away? So I'm going to put it on the back so it doesn't roll away. Now, I'm going to start at the top of the writing road. Capitals always start at the top of the writing road. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a line down and then I'm going to come on the other side and make another line down and then I'm going to draw a line right through the middle. Is that a capital A? Can you see that okay? You know what? I'm going to write the next one with a black one because I think it might be kind of hard to see. So I'm going to do my next one. I put my lid on the back. I'm going to start at the top and go all the way down. Is that easier to see? Then all the way down again and then across the middle. So it kind of looks like I'm making a tent, doesn't it? And when we draw the line in the middle, it turns it into a capital A. Good job. Now, let's do a lowercase a. It's a circle and a line, so I'm gonna draw. Now, did you notice I just went to the middle of the writing road? I didn't go all the way to the top, because lowercase a doesn't go all the way. And then I draw one line on it, another circle, and another line. 
Those are lowercase a's. Now, I'm going to show you something really tricky. While you're writing those a's, I'm going to show you something tricky about letter a. I'm going to draw some circles because there are lots and lots of our alphabet friends that have that start out with circles. And then wherever you put the line is how you turn it into the letters. So if I go like this, what's that? A, very good. Okay, now what if though, what if I put a really tall line on it? Is that an A? Nope. That, you're right, is a D. Now what if I put the line down here? That is a Q. Hmm, that's a lot of places for a line. What if I put it on the inside like that? That is a Q. So where does the line have to go? Does it need to go right there on the end? And does it need to be tall? Nope. Does it need to go long? Nope. It just needs to be right there little on the end, right? Good job with your A's. All right, I'm going to erase those circle ones off. I'm going to leave our letters on there, but I'm going to erase those circle ones off because now we know how to write a letter. And you know what? There is a bug or a small little creature that starts with letter A. Oh, it's on this page. Which one do you think it is? You're right. It's the ant right there. And we're going to draw a little ant on here. So I'm going to get our ant off to look at it. Now, an ant is a bug called an insect. So I'm going to show you this insect. I have a big ant right here. An insect has three heads and six legs. It's got a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. One, two, three. So should we draw those three first? Let's start out with its three body parts. So let's draw the head. You got the head on there? Then we need to do the thorax. Another circle that's touching the head. Now we need to draw the abdomen. Another big circle. Oh, it's looking kind of anti, isn't it? Now, how many legs? I'm going to show you on this beetle. How many legs? Let's count them. One, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six legs on an ant or any kind of an insect. And an ant is an insect, so we've got to draw six legs. One on this side, one on the other side. Two, three, okay, three on this side and three on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, does an ant have eyes? Yeah, we got to draw it an eye. And they have little antennas. Oh, and we could even give him a little mouth if we wanted to, but you don't have to give him a mouth. Does that look like an ant? Let's look at our little ant right here and see. Let's count his legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got two antennas. Oh, we can see his other little eye on the other side. You can draw two eyes on there if you want to. Did we do a good job drawing our ant? Ant starts with letter A. Eh, eh, ant. And it's a little kind of a bug. Do you know what other kind of a bug starts with an A? We might draw one of them too. It's a special kind of a bug. It belongs in a family called arachnid. Can you say that word? Arachnid. That means it's a bug with eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight legs. And it can spin. What does it mean to spin? Hmm. Let me show you right here a bug. Okay, let's count these legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you see all of those? And look right down here at the bottom. Can you see those little things? Those are called spinets. Did you know that that is something that they have. Now, guess what? My vacuum just turned on. One minute. 
You couldn't hear me for just a minute. Okay. That's a little spinet right there. Do you know what kind of a bug is an arachnid? A spider, you are right. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay, can we draw one? Do you think we could draw one? Let's try it right next to our ant. Let's draw an arachnid. We're gonna need, you know what? Let's look right here. I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to put it up so we can look at it. Let's see, can you see it right there? Maybe if Miss Connie gets some tape, we'll stick it up and you can kind of look at it while we're drawing it because he's kind of really big. We're gonna stick him right there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's draw. He's got kind of a big head. Let's try that. Let's draw kind of a big head. And then he's got a big body right here. Let's draw his body right there. And let's put the little teeny, teeny, tiny spinets right there on the bottom of him. Oh, that's kind of in our way. Okay, see those little spinets right there? And then how many legs? Let's draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then he's got a couple of little antenna things on the top. And of course we have to give him some eyes. We've got a spider and an ant or an arachnid and an insect. Are those kind of cool little bugs? An arachnid makes me a little bit nervous because they're so fast on their little legs. Do they make you nervous or do you love them? You know what I like about them? I love that they like to eat mosquitoes and flies and all those kind of bugs that I don't like that bug me. And spiders like to eat them. Arachnids have their little spinners right here and they can spin a web and then they catch them. In fact, let me show you some pictures about spiders. They're kind of tricky. Let's look right here. There's one, let's count its legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you look really carefully, can you see those little spinets on there? <gasps> there's his head and there's his little antenna things and all of his legs. That's kind of cool. Now let's see what else we can learn about him. Oh, they sometimes use camouflage. Can you see that spider right there? It's hiding right, right on that yellow flower. Can you see, there's it, and then there's the spider. Is it hiding? If they hide good enough, the bugs they're trying to catch won't get away. Let's see what else we can find out about it. Oh, it caught one in its web. There's a bug and he wrapped it all up. That's kind of cool. Now let's see what else. Oh, this one has some little tiny babies. Look really carefully. Can you see those little tiny babies? This spider is carrying all of its little babies on its back. Is that a good way for the babies to get where they need to go? That's kind of cool, isn't it? Are moms good helpers, even if they're spiders? Or if they're moms, they're really good helpers, huh? Let's draw, make a spider out of our hands. Can you get a little spider? Let's pretend it's crawling up our arms. You ready? Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Then out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Did it feel kind of like a spider on your arm? Ooh. Okay, guess what? An arachnid is a hard word to say, but it is a special, special kind of a little creature, isn't it? 
I'm going to show you one. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of an arachnid. There's one. This is called a cobalt, cobalt blue spider. And you know what? It's in a special book. This book is called The Spectacular Spider Book. It has lots of things about spiders. It's by Valerie Davis, and it's illustrated by Simon Mendez. Didn't they draw a good spider right there? All of these things, it has its two little fangs. It's got the little spinet down here at the bottom, and it's got all of the legs. Let's see if we can find one more thing about spiders. Now let's look at this. Can you see the webs on there? Look at that web on there. There's a spider right there spinning a web. They're kind of cool how they can spin a web and hide inside of a web to help find their dinner, aren't they? I think it's kind of cool what they can do. There's all kinds of spiders. There's hunters, stalkers, and jumpers. Some spiders can jump. Some spiders speak around. They're giant spiders. Have you ever seen a giant spider? Giant spiders are like tarantulas, and sometimes people like to let them crawl on their hands. Some people like them. Um, here's a picture of one of those. I don't love to hold a spider, but some people really, really like it. Some spiders you shouldn't touch. Some spiders have venom in them, and if they bite you, they could make you really sick. So you have to be careful and make sure that if you're around spiders, you're really careful with them. Mama spiders get their spiders inside of what's called an egg sac, and they wait for their spiders to hatch. These are little baby spiders called spiderlings. That's what their babies are called. And when they get big enough, let me just show you this. Can you see those little webs? They spin little webs and the wind blows them and they find a new place to live when they're old enough. So I think that's kind of fun. I think spiders are really cool. And I love that they have another name, arachnid. Because spiders, in fact, some people are so scared of spiders, they called it arachnophobia when you're so scared of spiders that you can't stand to see them. Spiders are good helpers. And you know what? I don't have arachnophobia. Because if I see a spider, I try to put them on a paper or in a cup and take them outside so they can eat all the bugs I don't like. So I'm glad that there are lots of them. All right, before we go today, we're going to do one last thing. Let's see if we can find letter A. You ready? Help me know what these are. D. R. J. E. T, F, G, oh, you're doing so good. Oh, very nice. I, L, what letter is it? S for spiders, but we're not doing this one. Keep going. B, Z, Q, X, H, K, P, oh, do you think our letter's in there? C, hmm, V, W, <gasps> A, oh, guess what it says to do? Act like an alligator. You ready? Get your big chompers. Alligators are huge and they have big teeth. I love letter A, and I love arachnids because they're helpful to me. Can you say that one more time? Arachnid. Awesome. Okay, I will see you soon. I love being with you because you are amazing. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. You're awesome, possum. See you soon.